This video illustrates the use of IGW to perform automatic model calibration using U-Code. The same conceptual model illustrated in an earlier video is used in this example. However, in this example, three parameters are calibrated, two hydraulic conductivity values and one recharge value. One of the hydraulic conductivity values is derived from the other using an equation, thereby reducing the number of parameters to two. As with the previous example, when perfect data is used, the parameter estimation is able to predict the true values, while with noisy data, the parameters are close to, but not exactly, the true values. The parameter estimation process plots the error function that is being minimized as a function of the number of iterations, which shows the convergence process, and also plots the model versus data for the current iteration as well as the initial guess, iteration zero. The automatic parameter estimation process also computes various indicators, such as the composite scaled sensitivities, the dimensionless scaled sensitivities, and the correlation co coefficients between the different parameters, which are also displayed. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Edit the properties of the pre-developed model in Attributes Explorer. Change the domain polygon K to 20 meters per day and make sure that the calibration box is checked. In the Prescribed Flux subtab, set the recharge equal to 25 centimeter per year and ensure that calibration is checked. Select the smaller polygon and assign a K value of 200 meter per day. Two, discretize the model in Open Solver settings. Go to the Inverse tab and check Automatic Calibration. Select Recharge from the parameter list and set the upper and lower limits for calibration to 50 centimeter per year and 5 centimeter per year, respectively. Select K for the smaller polygon from the parameter list and check Derived Parameters. Then click on the Relationship button. In the pull down menu, select the K in the domain polygon. Then change the relationship with anchors parameters and click Apply. Next, select K for the domain polygon from the parameter list and note the two parameters in this zone, K and recharge, and then the one derived parameter, K for the smaller zone. Leave the default settings as is and open the options under Observation. In the Head Data tab, click Load to load calibration data that was previously created. Three, run the model to perform automatic calibration. The results are provided in the calibration results window. Note the initial and final estimated values for K in both zones and the recharge in the model. Right click on the composite scaled sensitivity plot to show different indicator options related to the parameter estimation. For example, the user can plot the dimensionless scaled sensitivity, or DSS, or the parameter correlation coefficients, PCC. Select Model vs. Data to show the simulated head versus the calibration scatter point data. Click on any scatter point to reveal the observed head, the simulated head, and the residual between the observed and simulated head at that particular location in the model. Scroll down in the table to view the initial and final values for simulated head at each scatter point location. When an individual row is selected, the corresponding scatter point is highlighted in the calibration plot. Close the window when done reviewing the results. 4. Open Solver Settings. Go to the Inverse tab and load a new Noisy Head dataset. Five. Run the model to perform parameter estimation using the Noisy dataset.
Note the spread in the calibration plot that was not seen when using the noise-free data set. Again, click on any scatter point to get detailed information about the simulated and observed head at that location in the model. Or, alternatively, click on any row in the table. Also note the difference in the DSS and the PCC plots when using the noisy dataset. 